Τη ροκαυτερή. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Γεια μα. Or στην υγειά σου. Στην υγειά σου. Yes. I want to say that I wish you for your best for your business, but that was too difficult. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Kenneth. I run a private dining outfit called The Mix-Up Chef and Pistachio Everything. I love to travel and to see the world through the lens of food. I'm going to recreate food from different countries so at least our bellies get a taste of travel. For this new series, together with other chefs, we will meet people of different nationalities to learn about their food and culture. <laughs> so I don't really know much about Greek cuisine. Uh, whenever I'm in a Greek restaurant, the whole menu just kind of looks like Greek to me and I always end up ordering the platter. You can see how they always prepare it very simply just to highlight the ingredients. So I can't wait to learn more about Greek cuisine. And to do that, we're going to meet up with the person behind Farina Divine's Food, Alexandra. Kalimera. Oh, Kalimera, yeah, you learned yeah, great yeah, from me yes, today. Yes, yes. How I'll, nice. I'll let's learn it over the weekend. We are here at Blue Cuisina because it's my favorite restaurant in Singapore. Uh -huh. I love the ambience. It's yes. like sitting in a Greek village. It's oh, so nice. beautiful, full of details from the owner's family. All right. Big menu. Yes. A look at so it? we are here at Blue Cuisina. Yes. Actually, we could order everything. Everything is good here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure our grandfather's story will love that. <laughs> Eating out in Greece, how's it like? The eating habits are totally different in Greece from Singapore or any other country. Yeah. Normally they have like a coffee in the morning, but they don't sit down for breakfast. Yeah. Uh, lunch is very late and you eat at 2 or 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's your lunch. And eat quite slowly as well, it was like two, yes, three hours? Yes, it takes forever. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice thing, right? When you yeah. have so many plates on the table, you can't eat fast. Yeah, right. That's so different from here because for us, a meal time is, is, is a very fast thing, right? Yes. See, so, then so you, are, you are in trouble in Greece. If you yeah. eat fast, they keep putting food on your plate because they think okay. you need more, right? Oh, okay, and okay, even okay. if you say, thank you, I'm done. Oh, you're not. <laughs> and they give you. They always love to feed others. I think it's a way of like hospitality as yes, well, right? Yes. I love it. Oh, I it see our dip platters coming. Oh, look Yay. at that. Oh, thank you. So how do we approach this? Do we normally start the cold stuff before we go to the hot stuff or? Yes, yeah, we start with the dips. You can have the salad with it and then maybe later the moussaka or you eat it all at once. Does it matter? However you like it. Okay. And this is another very typical dish, spanakopita, filled with a lot of spinach. Sorry, I didn't get a name for this one. That's tirokafteri. <laughs> tiro, tiro. Tirokafteri. Tiri is uh, cheese. cheese, and kafteri means it's spicy. And then this one is taramosalata. It's our fish dip, based with extra virgin olive oil, lemon, and bread. Oh, bread? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so interesting. Yes. Oh, wow. So you should uh, take some pita Thank bread yeah, so and try much. it on that. If you were to choose one ingredient that defines Greek cuisine, what would it be? Extra virgin olive oil. Oh, wow. Okay. You can't cook anything without it. It's a base for everything. I don't use any other oil when mm. I cook. I never use butter or ghee or so. Only yeah. extra virgin olive oil. Wow. Okay. And this is the famed national dish of yes. Greece. So would you say that uh, moussaka is akin to uh, lasagna? Yes, lay, lay, the theory, big... right? Yeah. Um, layers and then oven baked. Oh, look at that glorious oh. meat. See, my plate is too full. It's a Greek, <laughs> I put everything on, <laughs> on uh, the and plate. And I'm Singaporean, I ate too fast. <laughs> See, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. So tell me about moussaka. Um, any, do you have any like, um, fondest memories of moussaka. For me, moussaka is one of the Greek dishes that I would consider as comfort food. You eat it and you just feel, oh, this is like is my childhood and everything, you know. Do you eat it after a hangover? <laughs> what kind of question is that? That's funny. You could probably, I never thought about <laughs> that. There's a theme of this episode, this series going on. It's certainly one of the dishes I always serve when I have um, a Greek dinner at my house. Yep. Especially for people who've never had Greek before. And there's so many dishes yep. uh, and so many different flavors that when I host a dinner, I want people to get a big idea of uh, what the yep. Greek cuisine is about. Yeah. 
but which and is moussaka is always on the always table. on the table always on the table when i do this greek dinner for the first time and even for the second third people just love it so you see me eating quite intently on the moussaka because Careful, your plate is almost empty <laughs> you know what happens <laughs> i self surrender <laughs> <laughs> um, so i'm eating the moussaka quite intently because the producers has given me a challenge oh so what challenge to recreate the, the moussaka with oh, you oh interesting so you will be cooking a moussaka for me yes wow We're going to make a moussaka for yes. you guys. So we would need some tomatoes. So do you use fresh tomatoes for your moussaka? Or yes. use uh, canned can tomatoes? You can use canned, you can use fresh. And this are uh, the eggplants. See, uh, this is the different <laughs> color, right? They this, look different. This is the, this is the emoji one. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the emoji one, exactly. <laughs> so now we've done the shopping. Yes. And what's next? We are going over to a place for the cook. The and to learn Greek. To learn Greek. Efteristo. Uh, and have say some it, say it. Efteristo. Very good. And uh, <laughs> have some white wine. Have some white wine, yeah. of course. <laughs> we're going to make a moussaka now, yes. right? And uh, I think we'll start the meat sauce. For the meat sauce, I think we'll start the onions first. Mm -hmm. Onions at the base, a bit of garlic. Yes. We fry the meat. Yeah, excellent. And put some tomatoes. So you chop the onion and aromatics. I chop the herbs. Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. So, who taught you to, how to cook? My mom taught me and my grandmother. My mother learned to cook when she was very young. She always had to cook on Sundays for the family. And she did the same with me. I had to start cooking with 10. I had to start ironing with 10. Everything, yeah. My father was a bit shocked sometimes mm -hmm. because I was still so young. But my mother said, you know, uh, the younger she learns it, the better. So, if you yes. make it a fun thing to cook at a young age, then you also have fun with it later. Yeah. Is this something that you uh, instill in your children as well? Do oh yeah, I started when they were very little. They started cooking at, uh, before school, actually. We would put them on aprons on Sundays. Yeah, it was a tradition in our family on Sundays. So make, your, to make, your, make your lunch box easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. So we got the so. onions, we got the garlic, got the pot and the meat. Yes. And then we start frying it. Yes. No, no butter? No butter. No. Not? No, <laughs> no butter, only extra virgin okay, olive oil. Okay, cool. Yes. Cool. So you wait until the meat is all brown and then you add the onions? Yeah, so oh. it's like the, the French way of doing it. Uh -huh. you, I'm trying to get it to burn at the bottom to get some fun. Yes. And then the onions will lift away. The, it, like, you know how some, there's some crusty bits at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. I want that. Oh. You guar See? You're guaranteed you're to... You're never too old to learn something <laughs> new. <laughs> okay, so we are almost done. You can see this is a very nice fawn. Yes. And I'm trying to scrape it up because that's where all the flavor is. And the onions are going to be the one that lubricates and try to release all the fawn. Yes. Steeds. And the tomatoes in the end then? The tomatoes last, yeah. Okay, and the herbs? For me, I'll put the herbs after the tomatoes because yes. it sort of perfumes right. at the top. So here we are going in the tomatoes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. I like it. Okay. And then we're gonna add the fresh herbs. Yes. So this needs to stew for perhaps an hour. Yes. I see that you have uh, apprentices for you, no? Yes. Uh, what does it mean? Does well, it mean anything? it's the name of my business, Farina Divine Food, yeah. and it's uh, the nickname my father gave my mother decades ago. Well, she's a passionate cook, she's a passionate eater. And uh, whenever they were in Greece, she would eat tons of food every day. And um, that she reminded him of a, of a character in a uh, TV series that used to run in the 60s, 70s on uh -huh. TV. Yeah. So I grew up with my mom always being called Farina. So when I thought about a name for my business, for me, the, the, the embodiment um, of passionate eater yeah. is Farina. Well, it's my mom, it's, it's Farina. Nice. Yeah. So Soaking. we leave it for a while in the water, yeah. maybe like 15 minutes or so, and then we take them out and uh, wipe the water off and then we fry them. We fry them. Nice. Yes. So how long do we fry it for? Until it's nice you and brown. You will see, it gets brownish and then you turn it and you fry it from the other side also. That looks very nice. Nice. 
we have two or three components done. And the last one is the, 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 the cream layer on yes. top, the bechamel. Yes. And I see they have gathered everything, everything ready, ready. Yeah, the very healthy bechamel with butter and flour. Everything is better with butter, <laughs> yeah. So the bechamel is ready. We yes, can assemble it is. everything now, right? Yes. Okay, Let's so assemble. we're going to start with the eggplant. Let me see. Yeah, one more. One more. So now is the meat sauce. The meat sauce. I'll give you a big spoon. Okay. Maybe like four spoons. And then make sure it's in every corner yep. so it uh, comes out as a, it's a layer. Nice layer, yeah? It's a nice layer, yeah. It should be. Looks good. Wow. I guess we can put it... How long do you normally put it for? I imagine half an hour, just a crisp About it half an hour, yes. Here we go. Sleep well. So, sleep well, baby. See you in half hour. <laughs> All right, Finally. the baby's in the oven. Finally, we're done. Yes. So, what do you think? What do we deserve now? We got a drink, right? A drink. Yes. yes. Please. So, how about some nice uh, red Greek wine? Yes, yes. So I think it goes beautifully with the masaka. Ah, that's true. Absolutely true. Thank you. I hope you like it. So what do the Greeks say? Yamas. They say yamas, yamas when you're in a group or when it's just two people. Stiniyasu, which means to your health. Stiniyasu. Yeah? So we wish each other health when we drink. Stiniyasu. Stiniyasu. So you were saying that the pace of life is quite slow in Greece. And yes, then slower than much slower than in other countries. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And so, so that's quite different here because here is quite fast, right? Quite fast, and in Greece, yeah, you take your time. I mean, if you don't come tomorrow to repair the fridge, you come the next day. Yeah. They don't care, yeah. So you but they just take it easily, and they're happy with it. And yeah. everybody moves in the slow pace. Yeah. yeah. Did you kind of miss that slow pace of life or...? Well, I have my own pace and our family does. No matter where you are in the world, if you have your rituals and your habits, you hold on to them even if you are in a different country. It's especially yeah. important because that constant yes. is important to what you define as home, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Kenneth, I think it's about time. It looks good. Let's it looks take it really out, right? It looks really good. Oh my god. Oh, nice and bubbling. Ooh. So, we're done. Yes, finally. Yeah. Nice. So, I mean, you've been here for two years. Yes. And uh, are your parents still overseas? Yes, in Europe. Yes, of course. Yeah. So but we talk a, a lot on the phone. I oh, talk really? to my parents every week. I text with my mother. She's got WhatsApp, even though she's 84 years old. Yeah. And it's great that even old people can learn it. Yeah. In yeah. fact, we can call her if you want. Should we call her? Oh, uh, yeah. I would yeah. love to show her my... my... Your musaka? Yes, okay. exactly. Let's yeah. call her. Kerete. Hello. 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 And this is Vivi. Hi, Vivi. Vivi. Hello. Yes. <laughs> so, o Kenneth, my gift is a musaka simara. I just told her that you cooked a musaka today. Yeah. Can, I show, can I show you? Rotai na su to dixi. Ne? Ne? Yeah, she says, show me, show me. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Hey. Yes, oh. Authentic? <laughs> <laughs> I try to teach you some Greek, right? Uh, do you speak Greek? Yamas. <laughs> I'm telling my dad. Oh, he learned a Greek word. Ah, musaka was is. Musaka nos nostimos. Ah, musaka nostimos. Nostimos. Yes. Oh, Katerina Vivi, I have here with Katerina and Vivi. Where are Nikos? Where are Nikos? Say hello to Yaya. Yasu Yaya. Ah, she calls, always calls him Apollo, the Greek god. Doesn't he look like it? <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah, Yasu, you like ya? Bye bye, bye. Yasu. Yeah. Your, your mom is so cute. She's cute. Yeah, She's yeah, nice. Yeah. She's lovely. Yes. So we have the whole family here. Yes. I'll be curious to see how they feel about um, the moussaka, moussaka oh. that I made. So Kenneth wants you to try his version of moussaka. Yes. Mm. 
Mmm. Very good. It's a little bit different from good that Good job. One. Thank you. I'm impressed. Thank you. This tastes like the original masaka. Oh, thank you. Very it good. Like you made oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it tastes yeah. like I made it. That's the best compliment, <laughs> right? When you first time cook bread. It, it is, it is, mm. it is after guidance from you. Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. The beef tastes slightly different, but ah. still good. Very good. And he has a palate of Apollo. Oh, Apollo. He yeah, he, he can. He cooked the beef sauce in a totally different way. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to try this with some other recipes yeah. because I think it's interesting. And it's really, it's really different. delicious. Thank yes. You, thank you. Thank very you, thank good. You. Yes. I'm very so. impressed that you pick up the beef. Yes. I'm really Whoa. impressed. Oh, he, he has know. a palate. He, he, he knows how to taste. I'm very impressed. Uh, a gourmet. He's a gourmet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow, I really felt a Greek hospitality. I think Greek cuisine is so much more than food. They are blessed with such great weather and such great produce. Greek cuisine is just about showcasing the best of all these great ingredients. From a cuisine, you can really tell a lot about its values. You can see how Greek culture is all about sharing and a strong focus on family as well. Through different cuisines and different languages, we tend to divide the world further apart. However, seeing the world through the lens of food, we'll find that we're actually much more similar and different. And I hope that through this series, we'll know more about each other and bring the world closer and make it a better place. How often do you guys eat moussaka? Like every week. <laughs> really? <laughs> because we always have leftovers. Oh, yeah. When she's delivering food, today, we always have leftovers. You will definitely forget yeah. leftovers. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of Eat the World. If you want to watch more, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And let us know what other cuisines which you feature next on this channel as well. Bye!